Yes. You're, you're absolutely right. But there's, another, there's some other little wrinkles in that because there's a difference between, though they all lump it together, there's a difference between uh, care where the patient can't pay, is uncompensated care, and bad debt where they could, but they oh, don't. Yeah. Exactly and so what a lot of this will be is if you have a system that blends the two together, then what's the incentive to collect on the bad debt? Just roll it over and have the state pay for it. And that's exactly what was going on in Massachusetts. That's why, I mean, there's a lot of criticism, but what Romney did was he said he had a situation where the hospitals would be paid more by in state and federal dollars than it would cost to insure all this uninsured people. Okay, so they insured all the uninsured people. And what happened? The hospitals went back and got more money to replace, after Romney left, from oh, the yeah. Patrick administration to replace. They ran out of legal residents to insure in the state of Massachusetts. <laughs> <laughs> and, and when I say legal residents, I don't mean just legal as in citizens. I mean they were freeloading from Vermont and New Hampshire, and they got them off the rolls. Okay? And, and, and they're still paying. And so this is another point. What about all those people who are illegal aliens? Well, the law says right now that they can't get the exchange subsidies and they can't get Medicaid. Well, they're not going to tell you this, but they're still going to have an uncompensated care problem that they need the tax dollars for. That's partly who's going to pay for it. And let's just take the reverse of face value. How many of you have gotten a hospital bill? That split cost, what? $1,500? <laughs> really? There's a difference between ch what they charge and what it actually yeah. costs them to provide yeah, care. Yeah, hospital charge master is a completely fictitious document. Exactly, and all of the uncompensated care that they report is what they charged, not what it costs for them to that actually provide the service. In fact, the most recent uh, year for which this data is available, uh, the American Hospital Association reported in 2010 record hospital profits of $50 billion a year. Now, that doesn't address the nonprofit hospitals, but some hospitals are making out. Hospitals make out when people show up in the emergency rooms. We should have a health care system where the emergency room should be empty because people are healthy, they're getting the care they need. It's not going to escalate to that level. That's why hospitals oppose, in many states, Medicaid reform. They oppose health savings accounts because in order for them to stay in the black, they need people to show up to emergency rooms. It's, it's yeah, and that's, and that's why if you're going to come illegal otherwise. Should. Of, of people. What I would say is you can buy a limited benefit that's a primary care focus. You know, for 100 bucks a month, enroll them in the primary care doc and they pay 20 bucks of the, uh, mm -hmm. of the 100 bucks, okay? And they go on the care. And if they do need something, okay, they go to the hospital and they can't pay the bill, fine. Then have the hospital send their costs, not their charge, to a common state run pool and spread the money evenly among the hospitals. Let's see how long well that works. Because the reality is, yeah, there's a lot of bill padding going on in this stuff. Uh, 